Alright, here we have a New Age mash stick. I'm going to use a, if you look in here, you'll see I got about 60 pounds of coarsely ground meal, not real fine, just coarsely ground meal. So we're going to mash it up in here. I've got water boiling over here in the boiler. And I believe she's hot enough now. Let's pour some in and cook our mash down. Clean bucket. Clean bucket, hot water. We'll rinse this out a little bit. I got about 20 gallons of water in here boiling. Hot as fire, you definitely couldn't take a bath in it. You used to have to stir your meal as you poured the water in, but we're going to dump the hot water in and use the drill and the paddle mixer and then that'll break it all up to make sure we don't have no dry spots in our mash. That's enough. In case it melts the bucket. Falling. Well, there's five gallons in there. I'm going to stir it up. <clears throat> Can you see down in the barrel from there? Alright, I'm going to add another 5 gallons to it. Another five gallons of almost boiling water. Ah, like cement. Let me turn this drill down a little bit if I can. Now, let's put it back on high. You want to make sure it's thoroughly mixed. You don't want any dry clumps with uncooked meal in it. I'm going to add maybe another three gallons of very hot boiling water to that. I'm not going to touch it again until tomorrow evening sometime. It kind of goes through a little souring process if you don't. Don't touch it anymore. Just add another three gallons of hot boiling, boiling hot water to it. And I'm going to let it sit till tomorrow. Then we'll come back and add uh, about 25, 30 pounds of sugar to it and yeast it and get it started.